So apparently Barstool's host Ben Mintz has been fired for rapping the N-word on his show, Wake Up Mintz. I guess he was rapping the lyrics to Bone Thugs and Harmony's song, It's the First of the Month, and used the N-word. I don't know anything about bar stools or Ben Mintz, but I just felt this was a good opportunity for me to bring this to the light and expose this. Two days later, the president of the company, Dave Portney, took to Twitter announcing that the company was firing the host. But he claims he didn't want to, he was forced to, it wasn't his decision. It was just an innocent mistake. He said the parent company, Penn, forced him to fire. Also, Barstool CEO Erica and Dan Katz are also claiming that this is just an innocent mistake. And I've seen a lot of people on the internet, mostly Europeans, saying that this was just an innocent mistake. Leave it to these people. It's just an innocent mistake every time something is done to black people. They want us to buy into our own genocide and our own downfall. But let it have been something racially said towards another group or culture of people, it would have been the end of the world. But every time something's done to black people, it's fine. Just get over it. Move on. That's how these people want us to think. But not on my watch. I think this Ben Mintz is a piece of crap, and he knew he should have never been rapping them lyrics, but secretly I believe he has hate in his heart towards black people like a lot of them folks do. Europeans and other cultures assume that it's okay for them to use the N-word because it's in the rap music. And these sell-out black artists sit up there in front of Europeans and other cultures of people and rap the N-word right in front of them. A lot of these rappers don't care what they say derogatory to their own people, black people, because they sold out for that bag. To me, the N-word needs killed off and should have been killed off. See, I even hate when blacks use this word because it gives some people a pass that's outside of the culture to think they can use this word. And also, black people using this word is like participating in your own demise. Why don't we use words like king, god, brother, sister, queen towards one another like Dr. Francis Cress Wilson said and also Minister Louis Farrakhan. Using words like this will pick up the state and condition of our people. We need to start holding people accountable for violations against the black culture, or even our own people. When something's done wrong to other cultures of people like the Asians, the European Jews, they hold people accountable for that and hit them where it hurts, right in the pockets. We need to stop supporting these rappers and everyone who want us to participate in our own demise. But this Ben Mintz would have never been fired if the parent company didn't make that push for them to do so. And in closing, this N-word is divisive in nature. And when it's used in the music, it's mostly used to talk about doing harm to your brother. And that's why it's allowed, because they want us to participate in killing our own selves. If you talk about killing any other people in the music, rap music would have been destroyed, and this word would have been destroyed. But since this word is mostly used against your brother, the power that be think, heck, well, let's keep this word, because they make our job easier. We don't got to kill them no more. We got them killing ourselves. Peace.